Hey, friends. Hi. Uh, <laughs> my, name is, start. my name is Narwhal. I'm here with Kyle. Yep. Uh, this is the Peak to Middle School podcast. You're here. Back in middle school, we we didn't really... This name doesn't really doesn't. make sense. It doesn't. I don't think a single person peaked in middle school. And I think that when people see that, the people that don't get that like half the show is like a meme... They, if they actually think we peaked in middle school, like that's actually really sad if we did peak in middle school. Yeah. Even people that peaked in high school, that's sad. But peaking in middle school is so much worse because that's like before puberty. I mean, that's like during puberty. Like if you Imagine peaked during if you puberty, peaked I, before. <gasps> what? Wait, I don't want to forget, but you also sounded like you were going to say something. So you go first. Well, I said if I didn't, I didn't even go through puberty in middle school. Like, when did you? Kind of. Like did. ninth grade? Well, like. I mean, you're going through it, but like my voice didn't change until probably ninth grade. Yeah. Because there's nope. a video that my sister has of me singing Adele in eighth grade. <laughs> and I have like the most high pitched voice. I want to see that. I, I don't know if where it is, though. Yeah. I think it was like on her old phone. Uh, well, um, well, yeah, because I remember like now your average height. But I remember there was like a, right. you had a big growth spurt around the start of high school, didn't you? Yeah. Like I think going into high school, I was probably like five foot three or five five so and, and if you short kings out there i feel you there's still you, a you'll, chance you'll probably hit your growth spurt if not <laughs> you're still a king yeah um okay well speaking of puberty i saw i saw this video on youtube it popped up on my like like the way the algorithm works is whatever pops up on your home feed or when you first open youtube on the home page is stuff that like is the algorithm that. yeah it's kind of recommended so I don't know why this popped up, but it said uh forty year old man has yet to hit puberty. Wow. And it's like a documentary, like a what are those um on like the what is it, like the TLC, like TLC yeah, that's where it's like the weird thing. people like, shows. I didn't hit puberty and yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's this guy that was like at a doctor's table and it I didn't watch that's it. It's called the thumb- like my prepubescent life. Yeah, and it was a guy who was like in his forties. But like his face is like a young, looks like a, a younger face, what? and he has like no like facial hair. Or, he hasn't hit puberty, and he's like a full grown man. And his voice is like high pitched. I would assume I didn't. I like I said I didn't watch it. But if he has pubes, how tragic would that be? That would suck. But also maybe you would live you? way longer because you're just a child. Yeah, but can you like a forty year old? This might be a dumb question, but can you get erections if you haven't gone through puberty? Or like are there pubes? Yeah pre-puberty erections yeah i definitely got some okay i remember like, but like does few. it feel good can't tell you it <laughs> was probably tiny like it wasn't a big one <laughs> i don't really want to talk about like little kid boners you know no but i mean even if it's, it's your little kid yeah but it's like my little kid boners are still little kid boners you okay know but I mean? this guy's 40 so we're allowed to speculate about his boners that's true we can talk about his boners but they are kind of like kid boners <laughs> No, it's, I, like, I just wonder like if his brain doesn't mature either. So like maybe he still laughs at like he still watches cartoons. <laughs> and, like, well, there's a lot of people that watch cartoons. Cartoons yeah, are great. No, okay, that's true. But like, what's like a little kid thing? Like he just like he plays with like action figures and Legos. Yeah, I mean, except apparently kids don't like action figures anymore. I mean, they are kind of boring. Yeah, why? Like, there's way cooler things. Why out did there. we like action figures? I never did. I mean, I played with them, but I played with my GI Joe. Cause it's, he's cool, named Poop. His name is Poop. Yeah, uh, we I played Barbies with my sister, and I was GI Joe named Poop. That's good. Yeah, it's, it's pretty sweet. Um, yeah. So I don't know if this guy is. Uh, I don't know how. I didn't watch the documentary. I might have to look it up after this just to go. Do yeah. Some, do my. It seems due like diligence. it's recommended for you. I think you gotta watch <laughs> yeah. it. I don't get that, dude. Some of the I, I get recommended some weird shit. Let's see what's recommended on my YouTube. Yeah, go to your YouTube homepage. It's it's probably just gonna be a bunch of what do you usually watch, or do you um, not watch a lot of YouTube? No, I do. I just I watch like people that I'm subscribed. I don't. I'm not someone that like I just, I don't go into like a deep dive and just watch a bunch of random videos. I'm typically watching like certain people. Yeah, but I don't think I've ever actually seen you. Yeah, I watch I have, YouTube in my life. Why would you watch me watch YouTube? Like, well, I don't. I just I don't mean, watch you watch YouTube. Yeah, but you know that I watch a lot of YouTube. Yeah, I don't watch a lot of YouTube. Yeah, so who do you watch, or what do you watch? Like, I I, I used to watch a lot of, like, Jimmy Tatro, like... Okay, uh, so, like, some... Oh, I watch Hot Ones. Funny guys. Yeah, just, like, the, the ones that you would expect me to probably watch, I watch. Like okay, but Cody do you have Co. any... 
Do you have any maybe obscure like subscriptions that are like let's see that I wouldn't expect? Um, wait, wait. First, first, what's on your Korean homepage? Savage. Um, dude, nothing like Matisse's video popped up. Like, oh, are you subscribed to Matisse? Yeah. Okay. You do you watch Korean Savage or are you yeah just Korean Savage? Subscribed? Yeah. Okay. I watch him a little bit. I just copied his Kilo class. Working nice. On it. Um. Yeah, dude. It's just like like look through. You can look through the people here, and it's like pretty much people you would expect me to follow. All right, let's see. And a lot of them, like I, I maybe I'm subscribed to, but I don't watch their videos. And okay, I haven't since I was like in eighth grade. Okay, this is ooh, I like I like seeing these subscriptions. Okay, so Cody Co, Matisse, Yes Theory, um, Athlean X. By the way, guys, mm. they're great. If you guys like are trying to like do anything fitness related or have injuries or like he's got a lot he, like if you have a problem he has a video for it i've googled so many problems with my body and bro have found solutions every single thing you could need to know yeah. about your body or like lifting or <laughs> healing your body he's a genius um matt mog barstool about what i expected who's professor live you know the professor the uh street ball player oh, the basketball yeah guy? dude he like plays like prisoners why is it called live? I don't know. Oh, that's just, just his yeah, channel. The professor's channel. He just like balls up on people at the park. Kind of yep. cool. Pardon my take. Joe Santagato. First we feast. It's it's weird to me that it's, it's called we... first we feast because I always everyone yeah, knows it as hot ones. ones, but that yeah. hot ones is just one of their shows. Yeah, but it's the only one people watch. Yeah. Who's the wonton don? Oh, he's, he's the barstool guy. Yeah. Scott Herman Fitness. Yeah, I don't is really watch like his videos. Yeah, he's just like bodybuilder guy. I mean, yeah. Penguin Zero classic Goat. one of the goats uh bad lip reading wow that's a throwback See, i don't watch the videos but that was like a good eighth grade subscription right there yeah the nfl bad lip reading uh cut kyle and i tried to get on mm, cut cut we throwback. we haven't got accepted yet or Wait, did we no you, well, you you applied for cut well i applied for a job there but also my sister knows a girl who works for them oh, and yeah. we tried to reach out and was like hey hey if you want some my si my brother and his friend want to be on the show but i'm sure they're not doing a lot of things right now no no um danny duncan h3 h3 i've never watched a single one of their videos i don't know why i <laughs> subscribed to them you're subscribed to jimmy butler why i have no idea <laughs> i don't know hey but i love jay butt oh matt stoney yeah yeah that guy that guy shoved shit in his, down his throat. Much dank. Yeah. That's about what I expected. Uh, that's a good subscription box, though. You got, it is. You got the good ones. It's funny. I'm subscribed to like 400 people on YouTube probably, but I watch like nine of them. That's the thing is like I have kind of recently purged some of them that like I don't even know why I'm subscribed. I don't even know what their videos are. I'm like, why am I subscribed to you? Yeah. And it's funny because I used to go to my actual subscriptions tab where it shows you every person you're subscribed, like who uploaded most recently. But I've got to a point now where YouTube knows that I only watch like seven to nine of these people I'm subscribed to. So every time when they upload, it just pops up on my homepage now. So I don't even go to my subscription box because they're like, hey, dude, we know you're going to want to watch this guy's video. So here you go. I see like I watch YouTube probably like once a month, I'll just like go on a purge. Mm -hmm. So I'll go to my subscription box and just go to the people. And if there's like a little thing, I'll click on it. A little thing? There's like a little bubble. That's oh, like that's like you video. haven't watched it yet? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow, I never knew. I've I've never seen you on YouTube, I don't think. Other than to like like and comment on the PIM stuff. Yeah, I'm just not much of a YouTube guy. Like I prefer watching either sports or like TV shows. Yeah, that's fair enough. I, I get it. But sometimes I'll get in a phase. Like, I feel like I go through phases. Like, sometimes I'll just be, like, on a YouTube grind for, like, a month and yeah. then not watch it for, like, three months. Like, I haven't watched a YouTube video in a months. while. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of the same way. But it, for me, it'll be, like, I might not watch a whole lot. <clears throat> but then if I find a new guy who I never mm. knew existed and it's, like, if it... I feel like I have very particular taste in what I like in YouTube videos. But if I find one that I like, I'll go and binge all of their old videos okay there's this one guy named chris stuckman who does like these m movies these videos about movies and tv shows and stuff and he's so good that i've literally in the last two months i've watched like 90 percent of his videos over the last five years you guys should do that to us <laughs> yeah you should just binge <laughs> all of our shows um okay well kyle yeah i have something kind of fun i want to try oh try
Okay. <laughs> Try <laughs> it out on me. I don't know if this is going to be as fun as I'm anticipating, but I hope so. Well, thanks for letting me down already. Um, so I found this article. Well, I found a couple articles and I took the best questions from each. Oh, but, questions? Yeah. So it's there's 20 questions here. And these questions are 20 questions you've probably never been asked in your life. Okay. So I'll let you know if I've been asked them before. Some of them you've probably been asked, but the the point is a lot of these questions are trying to be obscure enough to where you probably are going to be caught off or not have like a prepared answer because right. you've probably never been asked it before. Uh, I'll, I'll have a prepared answer. So Kyle and I will both give our answers, but I'll, I'll just read the questions. Okay. So I picked the ones that I thought were the 20 best. So, all right, Kyle. Yes. What comes to mind when you hear cabbage cabbage um uh uh just what asian food asian food pops into your head yeah okay like what like what do like, you um, picture pot stickers uh kimchi okay so you don't think of my old youtube video when i that too when i that, that when i carried around a pet cabbage that's for like up a there week. i was assuming you were going to discuss that if you wanted to bring that up, <laughs> what what brings up cabbage? Does, no, that was just one of the questions. What comes to mind when you hear the oh, word cabbage? This like, is perfect. For, what comes to mind when you hear cabbage, John? Because I know it's a lot deeper for you. <laughs> yeah, like I, well, there's two things. It's my video, the thumbnail for that video I made where there's a cabbage with a face, face. that I drew with Sharpie. Yeah, it's kind of weird. And then also there's a Twitter account called Cabbage Facts, yeah. which sadly I don't think is like, I don't think they're active anymore, which kind of bums me out. Um. It. Yeah, if you can find it, we should read some of their tweets. So, I don't know what it is, but I found Cabbage Facts in high school, and I thought it was the funniest thing ever. And then I... One day ago, life is a cabbage. Sometimes it is green and chimby. Chimby? Chimby? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes your mom tells you she, she wish you were never born. <laughs> can you read some other ones? Um, <laughs> the the Mr. Peanut guy, you know this guy. Yeah, yeah. He tweeted, "I remember my first beer. Oh wait, this is my first beer. Who knew?" So I think he just turned twenty one. And the, the Cabbage the Facts peanut. replied to the tweet and said, "You ruined everything, you stupid peanut." <laughs> <laughs> um. Hello. Oh yes. Hello. Where can I get my Travis Scott cabbage? <laughs> I fall because <laughs> I love fall because it is when all of the cabbage turn color from green to red. Yeah, it's pretty it's beautiful. It's so wholesome. At Wendy's. Hi, Wendy. Do you want to go on a date? Oh, yeah. So they have this thing where they tweet at Wendy's like all the fucking time. <laughs> who is this guy? I don't know who runs Cabbage Max. That's Max. awesome. And it's it's hilarious because none of the tweets make any sense. No. But they always try and incorporate <laughs> cabbage into it. Um, oh, that's funny. So, yeah, that's what comes to mind for me when I okay. hear the word cabbage. That's good. Um. Have you ever counted to 1,000? No. I have zero reason to ever do I wonder what the highest I've ever counted is. Probably like I think I've probably counted to like 200 when we were little. Like we, we probably thought that this like, yo, let's try and count as high as we can. But then yeah. we have a really short attention span and you get bored very quickly. Well, in first grade, we had this number book where you write the numbers. Mm -hmm. Like you just write one, two, three, four, five, six. And I fucked oh. mine up so bad because I didn't understand. <laughs> I didn't understand that it would be like nine or like uh, 18, 19, 20. I thought it went 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. What do you So all why? of my numbers are. So, I, I was dumb first grader. I don't know. So <laughs> all my numbers are so fucked up. Like it, it's supposed to just be like a perfect line where it's like one through 10. 10 through like 11 through 20 <laughs> or 11 through 19. And mine are just like one through nine and then like. 11 through 19. 21 or something. <laughs> yeah, they're just so fucked up. <laughs> you thought that there was, that I don't there was know, no dude. 20, 30, 40, 50. You just, I was no, like, I could kind of get it. Like, like when it gets to 1 9, then like that's kind of the end of the yeah. ones. And so then it goes to 2 nah, 1. I didn't even think about 0. Yeah, it's 2 1. No, I, I kind of get that because it's like zero is not really a yeah. number. Yeah, you know, I, I just count like, you know, I'm shooting free throws for all these and then like I'm going to score a layup and then it's just two extra. So <laughs> I, just, I don't even count 20. Yeah. Just go from 19 to 21. No, I was just a dumb six year old. Yeah, that's OK. Um, I figured it out, though. Well, when you said that, it sparked this memory. I don't know what it I don't know if this classifies as like deja vu, but you ever get a memory of something, but you don't know what it is. But like. What? Like so you, you were saying that there were these books that you wrote yeah, like numbers number in, book, yeah. and it sparked something about like some books or pamphlets we had in elementary school that like 
I don't remember what it was, but I just remember there was something about like you completed these books over the course of the year. And then like people like the teacher would like stamp them or like check them off each week or something. Was what? there something like that? Like a big workbook. Yeah, where probably. You had through the whole year. Oh, no, that's what it was. Remember we had those those math books? When we were learning math, you had a math book that was like this thick. Oh. And each week we would go through like yeah, a couple through, pages. Yeah. What I would do. Wow, I can't believe I remember this. Do you remember it being blue? It was a blue no, math no, book. I don't remember as much about it. And this it had like a white on the front, like a white okay. paper on the okay. front cover. <laughs> and there was like a, a pencil next to it. I remember the cover now. But I would go ahead in the math book and like do like four weeks worth of Smart. math assignments like on the bus. I was big on doing homework on the bus so that when I got home, I didn't have to do it. The fact that they're giving homework to like second graders is kind of... I mean, no. it's not a lot of work. It's no, very it, easy. it isn't. But very quickly in our school district, we received a lot of homework. In like sixth grade, it was like an hour. Dude, I was, yeah, I was like a stressed, like potentially depressed sixth grader because, <laughs> Same. because of my homework load. Me too. Um, yeah, it was a lot. I saw a TikTok of this teacher that was like basically saying she's been getting shit because she went viral saying like she doesn't believe in giving homework and she was defending herself. And I was like, and I was like, I kind of get it. Go she's off. like, she's like, how is giving homework to these kids going to make them better in my class? She's like, it's going to like stress them out. And like, oftentimes they're maybe going to copy. They're going to cheat. It's true. Or they're going to just try and get it done and like blah, blah, blah. And she was saying, I'd rather just like let them come to my class excited, knowing that like there's not this underlying stress of like not doing your homework or having to complete this. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. But also I know there are kids that like need more help. So it's like the homework does help, but it sucks and yeah. no one likes it. Yeah. No, I, I, do you think that overall in your school experience, homework made you smarter than if you didn't do it? Like, do you think the homework overall uh, was better or worse bit. for you? Uh, well, I don't know, because there was a lot of unnecessary homework. I, I don't know. I was someone that, like, I listened in class, and, like, I didn't really need the homework to figure out what I was doing, because, like, I would yeah. ask a question if I had a question. I don't know. I, I don't really feel like I learned much through homework, but I'm sure it probably gave me a better work ethic or, like, you know, because yeah. there was a lot. We had so much homework in school. It was ridiculous. Yeah. We've said this before, and I think God. maybe a lot of people can't relate, but... The high school that Kyle and I went to in particular was, like, very challenging. Mm -hmm. Lo like, a lo lot of work. Uh, all right. Kyle. What female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Oh, okay. Hmm. Wish was my sister? Yeah, so maybe... Yeah, I was going to say, like... Yeah, you can't pick, like, yeah, a cute one. I don't want to pick someone that's attractive. Well, they could be cute, but, like... Then I just wouldn't be attracted to them. Yeah, so yeah who would be, like, cool to hang out with? Um... Hmm. Like uh, Emma Stone would be cool. Whoa! You saying she's not cute? You talking she, shit about she, my she wife? Is. She is, and you're not marrying her because she's my sister. <laughs> oh, I would marry. I, her. I would stiff on you. I would you. so marry her if she was your no, sister. No, I would dude. talk so much shit about you to her. I'd be like, this guy, this fucking guy, you can't trust him. No, she you. no, but since she, she would know me on a more personal level if she was your sister, so she'd be get to know how awesome I really was, mm. and she'd be super attracted to me. Or she, or she would realize that you suck, and she doesn't want to be with you. No, no, that's not possible. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of someone that's like cool, like Jennifer Lawrence, maybe. I don't know. She seems kind of cool. I don't know, dude. She seems really like anal about everything. Like, is I feel she? like Jennifer Lawrence is like, I don't really know her. So if I <laughs> ate like a steak, she'd be like anti steak. Well, no, she'd be like, um, is that organic? Is that because that came from a factory farm? And I'd be like, dude, I'm just trying to eat my steak, bitch. You know, so who would you pick as your sister? <laughs> um, see, I was thinking like one of like the cool sports reporters but like not one of the really hot ones I'd like pick, just uh, just yeah. like a I'd pick <laughs> if they're too hot I'd be attracted to them you know you would no but no matter how hot they are you're not attracted to them cuz they're, they're your sister oh no you know who I'd want as my sister I want the I girl want from the Rob Deerdeck show the newer one oh Chanel yeah Chanel why she was in the, I guess Dude, she was laugh in the is so annoying yeah but 
I don't care. I think she was like she added to that show. Like she was like one of the boys, kind of. You know. Okay. I would pick. Uh, yeah, I'd pick like Carissa Thompson or Michelle Beadle to be my my older sister. Oh, do Michelle Beadle as an older yeah, sister? Yeah, she'd be cool. Would be cool. Yeah. And yeah. Just talk sports. Wait, what was the girl's name? Chanel. Chanel. Yeah. Chanel yeah. West Coast. <laughs> what was it? I don't know. I is she still famous? I don't like, know. I see I her wonder, on Snapchat sometimes. If I look up Chanel West Coast. No, wait, she's still around. I'm going to look her. How many Instagram followers do you think she has? I bet she's got close to a million. What about on the ridiculousness? Who is the other guy? Like the co-host with her? Oh, uh, Sterling? Stilo. <laughs> Sterling. Stilo Broom. No, his name's Sterling. It is? Yeah, but it's like, Oh, they call him Stilo Broom. Stilo. I don't know, dude. Chanel. Wow, she's the first Chanel that pops up. How many followers? I don't know. It's not loading. You're like every middle schooler Holy had a crush on her shit. back in the day. 3.4 million. Damn, she's way more popular than I thought. She's a rapper, singer, songwriter, host, and actress. She can do it all. Damn. She's got... Except I feel like that's kind of what happens. It's like if someone gets famous on social media... They just do everything. And then they kind of like... If they run out of the whatever lane they're in, then they just start making music. Yeah, I think it's hard to be like a talented... Singer, rapper, comedian, actress, like all in one. It's yeah, like, like you just you're trying to do a lot of things and you're probably not that great at all of them. It's like the Cheesecake Factory. They got a whole bunch of menus on the item. Or what'd you just say? God damn. <laughs> whole bunch of items on the menu. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They got like a book of like ten like ten Dude. pages of just shit on their menu. <laughs> the Cheesecake Factory menu has every type of food, yeah, everything you could ever want, but that's it's the only all book I below read. average. <laughs> yeah. Except for the cheesecake. Yeah, cheesecake. Cheesecake's good. good. Uh, all right. Well, Kyle, in the same lane here, what male celebrity would you want as your brother? Mm, Zac Efron. You'd want Zac. Yeah, dude. You always talk about how hot he is, though. I don't care. It's my. That's my. Big... Would you want people to always be like, "Oh my God, your brother Zac Efron," and they only hit you up so they can get close to Zac Efron? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> like that's my brother. Can't you see the resemblance? See, I would. I just get on his workout program. We just talk about whatever. You know, we do some fun stuff together. Okay. I would want Tony Allen. (laughs) Why would you want Tony Allen to (laughs) be your brother? Or Zach Galifianakis. That is the weirdest combination of people. Zach Galifianakis could be cool. Tony Allen would be such a dick older brother. No, Tony Allen seems like he'd be nice. Like he's he's intense on the his he has the work ethic that I want out of like a brother. Then pick like Patrick Beverly. No, Patrick Beverly's a bitch. Yeah. What about Marcus Smart? They're all kind of the same player. Marcus <laughs> Marcus Smart's better offensively. Yeah, that's true. Tony um, Allen can't do shit. <laughs> that's why though. It's like he made like he made it against all odds, you know? I mean he's just a good defender. He's athletic. Yeah, but it's like, like he's a bad basketball player. It's like um It's like the guy who made it to the Olympics, but like with no legs. It's like Tony Allen made it. Yeah, that guy murdered his girlfriend. (laughs) He did. (laughs) He's in prison now. Yeah, very much in prison. But Tony Allen made it to like the highest level of competitive basketball. With zero offensive skills. With basically no offensive game whatsoever. Hey, that's kind of how Ben Simmons is. Yeah, and it's impressive. So like I want that in my life. Okay. That energy. Okay. That's cool. I'd have Shaq as my older brother, actually. (laughs) And we'd have the same birthday, so actually we'd be twins. (laughs) But he'd be way older, so we wouldn't be twins. You would just be brothers with the same birthday. That's not. People would have a lot of questions all. when they see us, and they say, "How? <laughs> what happened here? What's the story? <laughs> What's the story here?" <laughs> like I'm trying to think if there's any possible universe, like in reality, could there be a way where you and Shaq could be brothers? Well, we'd have to have either the same mom or the same dad, and then his mom or dad is would just have like to be a enormous, giant, like a Britney Griner esque person. But also, like his skin is so much darker than yours that, like, like, yeah. But like, just because if, there's a white person and a black person, they can have darker, like their baby can have light skin, like super light skin, or like Mike. But Conley's can like son, a mixed parents have a kid with like that darker skin? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because yeah, cause Mike, Con- Mike Conley's kid's like basically white, and is him. A- He's black. Is his, his wife white? white? Yeah. But the kid is like basically basically white. looks. It looks white. like he looks like Jason Tatum kind of. Okay. Or like Derek. You know Derek Jeter's black. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, I guess. But like but, you, you don't really see it that much. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> Shaq. Okay. I mean, yeah, that would Shaq, be cool. I would pick Shaq. Okay. Next question. All right. Next question. Uh, have you met a new person in the last week? 
And this oh. isn't just like a one time like talking to a cashier. This has to be like, have you ever met someone by that, their like, name? I'm going to continue talking to. No, just like, have you ever interacted with someone where you actually got their name and like yeah. talked to them for more than like 10 seconds? Yeah. Okay. Who was it? Just uh, a member at the gym that I work at. Like a couple members that like. Okay. I've but got their names and like we're on, we're on talking basis. Like, okay. I don't know. What about outside of work? Um, no, probably not. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, I was trying to <laughs> like I, I was trying to think, and I already didn't talk to many people, but especially during quarantine, I have really not. Yeah, it's like I'm not seeing people really. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm not the type of guy who's like in line at Qdoba and just like starts talking to the person next to him, and it's like, hey, you see that on the news today that that there's a new a spaceship just launched like that's yeah. my dad would do that I in know. line at, to meet new people and oftentimes i think the people that he becomes like friends with don't actually like They're him like yeah <laughs> dude cool yeah but yeah i mean i i just you know how like you were saying your dad like met your mom at tgi fridays and just hit on her like <laughs> i would ne- i don't think i could ever ever i can pretty much rule out that i'll never make a friend at like a rest like just a random person at a restaurant or anything like that like what I about just, like at a bar though that's kind of what bars are yeah, for maybe a bar it's for like people that are out of college to meet each other i get yeah i guess that's so. the purpose of bars or in college um yeah. yeah i just i'm not someone i don't really approach people like if somebody were to approach me and talk to me like i guess i'd talk to them but like i'm not someone it's not that i avoid it i just like don't really see the need to go talk to this because like i don't want to make them uncomfortable you know what i mean yeah and like i don't even even know what i would say like hey that's what you do when you meet new people you just (laughs) no (laughs) dude it's just like it's just weird it's a weird concept to me that's probably a bad thing that's like i wish that there was a skill that i had where i could just talk to you can develop it just like any skill yeah but there are some skills that just kind of like it's just like not my forte like talking to a random person at a I don't like see I, it's, you not that, it's not that I can't hold a conversation because I can yeah, anyone, can I can hold a person. conversation with anybody. It's that I just probably wouldn't go out of my way to talk to somebody. Yeah, dude, you know what's weird is I can't picture you with like. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this no. is gonna sound terrible, oh, boy. but this is like this isn't supposed to sound bad. Okay, okay. <laughs> you can't picture me having I sex. I can't picture you with like yeah, a new can. friend. <laughs> like I, I can't picture a you new friend being like hey I've guys been, like the, new yo, this is like jeff i just met him the other day like is it cool if he comes over and like like i never can picture that in my whole life happening mm. but i hope it does okay like yeah, i want you I'll... to have i want you to like get a new friend <laughs> thanks man <laughs> thanks man that means a lot to me that you say that um <laughs> i just like yeah not that it's bad it's just like we we're so close with our with our core group yeah but like I feel like I just don't feel like you're that open to like meeting new people. It's, it's not it's not that I'm not open to it. I just don't really like care to put in much effort. You know what I mean? Like if someone if I were to just meet someone that's just like blows my mind of how <laughs> cool of a person they are, like I'd talk to them and hang out with them. But Yes, like, but like okay, so let's say we're at a bar. I'm not going to be like, "Can you please like be my friend? Like we should hang out." That's not me. Yeah, but if we're at a bar, the boys, let's say. All right. And we meet these two other dudes that meet are like... dudes at the bar? Let's go. Yeah, just like, hey, what's up? Or like, we're watching a football game, maybe. And some guy says something, and then like, you say something back about the game, and then like, we start talking to them, and they're just two cool guys. Like, hey, I feel come back like... To my place? <laughs> no, like, I feel like I would try and like, continue further it engage. and further the friendship that is slowly developing well, if you were drunk you would come you would keep talking to them you would turn into your dad yeah but i think that you would like we would talk to them at the bar for maybe like five minutes and yeah. then like we would just go about our ways and you'd never talk to them again yeah what's wrong with Does that a part of you just wish like what would happen if these guys became our new best friends i don't like i just don't like forcing things yeah, no, I'm not saying forcing it, but like, what if they, you guys are having a good time? I would be open to it, but like, I'm not just gonna be like, hey, like at the end of the night, we're like, we're kind of walking out. I'm like, hey, can I have your number so like I can text <laughs> well, you sometime? I mean, that's <laughs> not what, yeah, it's not what I mean, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I hope you get a new friend. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, I've made new friends. <laughs> no, you know, I've, you I've have, made new, new friends. You have so. new friends. Yeah, you're well, the reason I'm friends with Joe now. There you go. Through you. There you go. Uh, <laughs> okay. Cool. What was the original question? I don't know. What was the... I don't think there was... Oh, have you met a new person in the last week? Oh, have you? 
Uh, no. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so you so, shit on me, but you have, you haven't either. Yeah, Perfect. exactly. Um, what did you dress up as on Halloween when you were eight? I don't know specifically when I was eight, but I can rattle off some some costumes I had. All right. Um, one that I regret sincerely is I dressed as a homeless person, and I <laughs> and I, I I hate that I did that, and I don't know why my mom what? thought that that would be a good idea because we we've looked back at pictures and we've all just been like, that was just a miss. Like, why did you do that? <laughs> you dressed up as a homeless guy. Yeah, that's it was, terrible. It's, it's terrible. So please, no, don't ever do that. Never let your kids do that. That's just bad. Uh, that's bad taste. Um, it was it was the times. It was a different time. Yeah, but not really and i don't know like it, it definitely wouldn't fly today but that it, that was kind of fucked up uh <laughs> what else have i dressed as um i was uh one year i didn't know uh this is also kind of fucked up one year i didn't know what i was going to be and then the day of i found it was like swine flu was kind of around so i found this pig and i put it on my head like i had this stuffed animal <laughs> oh, pig and i, I put him on my that. head and i put a mask over his face so you were like, so swine I, flu. Said like swine flu victim or something <laughs> which is also <laughs> fucked up that's like saying like yeah i'm coronavirus and yeah. it's like you're gonna strap a bunch of coronas to you someone's gonna there's do that someone's gonna do Someone that do yeah that. um yeah what else did i used to be for halloween i don't know i don't remember very um, well i do remember the swine flu thing. i was a skeleton one year i was like a lion or like superman when i was super little okay uh yeah, dude, I don't know. I can't even remember. It's why, sad why can't that I we don't remember. That? Yeah, I have a bunch of pictures. Oh, I was like, I was a Draco Malfoy one year. I was a vampire. Oh, one I remember year. when you were Draco. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know. I it's sad. I don't really remember all of mine. I was a jester one year. Mm. I was Captain Jack Sparrow one year. <laughs> I was uh like a lion thing. Every little kid's been a lion at some point. I was a lion when I was like zero. Yeah. Oh, I was a Ninja Turtle one year. Mm. Um, I still have the mask. Big Ninja Turtle guy. Um, okay. I was a girl one year, and my sister. We were was both a, girls. Was a guy. We were both girls together. <laughs> yeah. And Trey. Really? You, me, and Trey. We we all dressed up as a girl. I have like a weird amount of pictures of like me as a girl. Like th- I feel like everyone who had a sister kind of went yeah. through that at some point. Yeah. Cause she did my makeup and like dressed me and shit. I was I was kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. I would have yeah. dated me when I was eight. Mm. No. If you were eight, year if old when girl, I was eight, I would have considered dating myself. Yeah. Not now. You saved it. Don't worry. Saved it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I, I really wish I remembered all of mine, but I don't. Um, have you ever taken any lessons for something growing up other than like the obvious, like swimming or taking lessons? Yeah. Like, did you ever go take a lesson to learn how to play a piano or like? No. I never dance. learned an instrument. <laughs> I did take a break dancing course for three weeks. <laughs> No, uh, I don't know. Not really. What lessons have I taken? I took one guitar lesson ever. Did? I went to this like, uh, shit. It's not like guitar center, but it's like one of those yeah. places where like they sell stuff, but they also like offer lessons. And, uh, I did it once. Couldn't understand like the notes or like, yeah. how I just didn't music just isn't my thing. And I never went back. Okay. Yeah, I took uh, I took one karate lesson. Really? Yeah, kicked ass and I left. Damn, I never knew that. I was like, f- I don't even remember it, but I, I know I was like five. Okay. Damn. So you, do you remember any like moves or anything? I don't even remember the class. No, <laughs> we probably just like karate chopped some like pillows. Yeah. They're probably like ha ha. Like that was probably it. All right. Do you sleep with a nightlight? No. Neither do I. Uh. Do you sleep with a fan on? Like, are you someone that you need to like sleep? I with don't a fan need on? it, but I like it. During the winter, I won't because it's already freezing. But yeah, um, yeah, I, I I like a little white noise. Okay, what are you craving right now? A uh, burrito. Okay, what type? Anything in particular? Uh, like pulled, from Cafe Rio. Cafe Rio. Pulled yeah. chicken burrito. Okay. What about you? Right now, uh, like you know those um. I don't know what brand there are, but they're like these like chocolates, but they're kind of like, like maybe like this, so- this wide and there's like little salt on the top and in the middle, it's like chewy caramel kind of. Oh yeah. So it's like salted like chocolate. Like Ghirardelli kind of thing? Kind of. Yeah. But like you bite in and on the inside, it's kind of this uh, like yeah. thick, chewy yeah, yeah. caramel thing. Yeah. I know you're talking like about one of those. Yeah. I could, I could fuck to one of those. <laughs> All right. Um, do you bite into your ice cream or just lick it? I bite it. 
I'm You're a, I'm the a biter. worst. Type I also bite person. my popsicles and I bite my Jolly Ranchers. Kyle is just the most. I'm, a, I'm just un, a biter. Unappealing, like watching Kyle eat ice cream or candy is hey. just the worst. Why? Because it's not how you, you're like disrespecting it. You're like, what do you're you like do? What pulling do you do? its just... pants down and laughing at it in public. That's what you're doing to your no. ice cream. No. Yeah. What, what do you do to your ice cream? Go and like move it around and slurp no, it around you in go. your mouth or your tongue. Okay. Well, wait, wait. This depends here. I assume when I heard this question, I yeah, thought we were talking say... like on a cone. Oh. Or like if you're. Well, because if I have yeah, like it in a bowl, no, obviously cone, I'm not cone? licking it. Cone, I'm licking, but I get to a point where I'm doing the. Home and like pulling off a big piece oh. with my lips, and then, so it's not quite biting. And then like I'm kind of biting, but if I'm like with a spoon, yeah, I'm biting my ice cream. Okay, I mean yeah, but everyone does that. No one licks it off the spoon no, in so a people, bowl. People do. People are weird. <laughs> okay, but like popsicles, yes, I'm biting them. What about like one of the, if it's ice cream, but it's like on a stick, you know, what? ice cream on a stick, like one an ice cream bar, you know, like one yeah. of those Magnum bars or something. You have to bite those. Yeah. Uh, well, if they're covered in chocolate, you do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I'm biting everything. I bite everything. I bite my popsicles. I bite Jolly Ranchers. I bite my lollipops. Jolly Ranchers? Those are rock hard. Uh, I don't really bite my Jolly Ranchers, actually. You kind of got to suck though. But the, like, Tootsie Rolls? Well, like Tootsie Pops. Yeah, yeah I, bite, tootsie pops. I bite Tootsie Pops. Right off the bat? Yeah. Like, you just put it in and yes. bite it off. <laughs> yes. Dude. I don't know. I'm you psycho. don't even savor it. No, I don't. I just, yeah. Oh, my any, God. Any lollipop. Like, those, the only ones I can't bite are the uh, the caramel apple pops. Oh, yeah. Those are too hard. Those That'll are, break you, your teeth. I've gotten my teeth completely stuck on them before. I'm like, <laughs> oh, shit. It's the last time I bite them. Yeah. Uh, okay. Those are fire, by the way. They are. Moving on. Who's the most famous person you've ever met? Hmm. Most famous person I've ever met. For me, I think it's Randy Moss. Really? But it was more... It, it depends what you define as meat. Because I like... It was at this event and he was like, we got a picture, I think. But he was like, oh, hey, what's up, man? And like, I was like in sixth grade. So he was like, oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Okay. And like, he signed my football. So like, right. like I was there, but I he wasn't like... I had a full on conversation. Like he doesn't know your name. No. No. Okay. Uh, I have an answer, but I don't really want to say it because you probably know what it is. He goes to the gym that I work at. Oh, okay. I don't really want to say it. I don't. I don't know if I'm allowed to. Okay. I don't. I don't want to say it. But it's um, it's a famous rock star. We'll oh, say that. okay. Yeah. Wow, leaving it so vague for the people. Yeah, sorry guys. I just don't. I don't think I'm allowed to. Kyle's met a famous rock star. We're on a first name basis. Do with last, that last what you I guys checked. wish. Maybe it's Michael Jackson. He's dead. Maybe it could be. Who knows? Michael Jackson's also not a rock star. But like in the general sense of he's the not word, not a rock star. He's a pop star. He's a pop icon. He's yeah, the king but, of pop. But when I think he's of rock dead. star, like a rock star is a full encompassing term for like but Kanye's not a rock star. Is that is that what you're you're saying like a music star? Rock star <laughs> is the rock music star. Rock star. Yeah, no, like I, I, I get what rock, rock star rock means. Stars. I get what it means. But Post Malone not is a, a rock st star. No, he's not. No, but rock star is like no. a term that is deeper than just rock music. Like a rock star is like, oh, like you're a rock star. <laughs> you know? This is the worst explanation. A rock star is like, oh, you're a rock star. Yeah, like rock stars transcend genres. No. I would I would even go as far to say like you said you think Pink is a rock star so what I'm still yeah, a rock star yeah. I don't think well she kind of does rock music a little bit she might yeah. be a little she's a kind of a rock star Bruno Mars no, rock star he's not a rock star dude <laughs> dude no there's 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 the so, rock star in the sense of the word where it's like you're a rock star like like you're like, awesome you're awesome like he's kind of a rock star but there's like a literal I'm a rock and roll <laughs> star that is a rock star in my opinion so so Post Malone's not a rock star not in my opinion. He's got a song called Rockstar, doesn't he? Dude, he's such a rock star. Nah. He even says that he's a rock star. So, so I can according say I'm to a rock him, star. I'm a rock star. <laughs> yeah, so I'm okay. the famous rock star that I know. All right. We're all rock stars. Uh what was the last question you asked someone? What a rock star was. Is that did you did ask, I ask me? that? I don't know. I don't know. I think so. But other than that, um Before you came here, what's the last question you asked? I said, Can you record today? But before that, no, 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 that's a text though. That doesn't count. What's uh, the last question you asked? Where are we person? dropping, boys? 
<laughs> where are we dropping boys that's good <laughs> probably you didn't say anything to anyone at your house this morning i didn't see anyone this morning oh no. wow all right next question have you ever crawled through a window yeah i broke into my house when we got back from <laughs> a vacation one time because we forgot our keys <laughs> or like our neighbors had the only set of keys or something i don't really know but um yeah so i had to get a ladder crawl through my window take off the screen unlock our door how so your window was just unlocked yeah why when you know. went on vacation why didn't you guys lock your windows it was an upstairs window someone would have had to try real hard to like break into our oh, house Oh, okay okay and i would assume someone would have like maybe seen that because our neighbors knew we were on vacation yeah like yeah. if there's a weird van and a man on our roof <laughs> you should probably like call 911 yeah i don't think i've ever wait did it work though like you got yeah. inside your house yeah damn dude that's kind of cool. cool though yeah i felt pretty cool I, like dove through the window onto my bed and then you're like mission impossible mm -hmm. like you gotta go like i was crawl in like somersaults and like i <laughs> rolled down the stairs it was pretty cool <laughs> um yeah i don't think i've ever crawled through a window unfortunately there's a window behind you, you i'd can... like i'd like to crawl through a window but it's like uh, who's no one's gonna go out of their way to find a window to crawl through you're only uh, gonna do it if i've you crawled leave. out of multiple windows when you've never else? gone into someone's roof that's crawling through a window I don't think I've chilled on someone's roof. When uh, when are the other times you've crawled through windows? At Chief's house, I've crawled through the window like a bunch of times. <laughs> I've never done that. We okay. I I've never been on anyone's roof. You got to do that. You said you could get on your roof, right? Yeah, but it still wouldn't be through a window. It's through. You just open oh, up a door and there's like a balcony thing that you okay, can. Okay, well, you could try a window. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It's you gotta you gotta experience it. It's a thrill that like I'll only... experiment with windows, but yeah, you can experiment with some windows. All right. What is the last thing you bought? Uh, um, what is the last thing I bought? Let me look. Check my uh, <laughs> check your checking account. Yep. When you buy things, do you use your a credit card or like a debit card? Or? I don't have a credit card. Uh oh. Uh, last thing I bought was <laughs> a burrito. Actually. <laughs> uh, yesterday from I bought Cafe a, Rio. Bought a burrito. No, from uh, Qdoba. Oh, it's kind of disappointing. Cafe Rio is far away, dude. I know, but like in. Not that Kido was bad, but after you've had Cafe Rio, nothing else quite Kido lives up to it. Kido still pretty good. It doesn't live up, but I like... What about Chipotle? Is Chipotle the bottom of those three it for is, you? It is for me, yes. Okay. Because now Kidoba has that, that uh, brisket, and it's really good. Yeah. Um. All right. Oh, wait. Let me see. What's the last thing I bought? Um. This is not very exciting, but I bought a new pair of headphones for the podcast so that we have four. And this is a good time to tease Ooh, our yep. next episode. It's going to tease. be our second ever four person podcast, but this one's potentially even more exciting yeah. because it's going to be the fan favorites, Shim and Willig mm -hmm. and us two all in one episode. Your real fan favorites. So like what more could you really want? Like this is the, this is the all-star game of peak to middle school. We should do a bracket where people vote on their favorite um, guest we've had. That's good. Yeah. Someone is going to feel bad, but. Well, how can we? How can we have like we vote just do? On that? We just do matchups. Like we rank oh. them all, and then we say like vote. Who did you like better? And then whoever wins yeah. from each matchup goes on to the next Moves matchup. On. Yeah, we do. But like, try who, it. think about like someone's gonna get the least amount of votes. It's yeah, gonna be sad. But it's probably someone from like way back, like Taz. Yeah, where we only did one episode. Yeah, yeah. Has Chris been on one or Chris has Chris been, been on, on two? two. Luke's been on one, and Blake Anthony's. and Anthony. Yeah. Taws. <laughs> they're battling for the bottom morgan and not Karina. not because they were worse but just because people don't remember them probably exactly i mean shim would probably win because he's been on the yeah. most or willick um or okay who was your idol in middle school idol in middle school um brandon roy mm. he was my favorite nba player um but like idol though I didn't I didn't think I was gonna be an NBA player so you know what I mean so it's not like I was like damn I want to be like him because I knew I wasn't was going there a to. time when you was there ever a time where you did think you wanted to be a pro sports player yeah like so most in, of when growing up I so wanted in to middle be like school you wanted player. to be a pro baseball player yeah so in who was your idol in the sense of like um, your dream career in high uh, like early high school and like late middle school was Kyle Seager yeah I, I, I just that. liked the way he played but. Uh, that's kind of like a boring, like hero, because <laughs> like, most people don't even probably most know people don't know who Kyle he is. Seeker is. Yeah, like, and it's not like I knew everything about him and just like watched all of his like interviews and everything like that. Like, it's I, like we've kind of talked about it before. We're like I don't I don't fanboy over people. Like I didn't 
don't really have a lot of people that I just know am obs- everything about. Yeah, that I'm obsessed with mm-hmm. in that sense. Yeah, no, I, it's just, it's so interesting to me. Like, you're the only person I know who doesn't... Actually, maybe my sister's that way. Because, like... She also thought Michael Jordan was dead, right? Yeah, my sister didn't know if Michael Jordan was still alive. And she played basketball her entire life. And yeah. she coaches basketball. And well, she clearly didn't she idolize people. Loves basketball. Yeah, that's the thing. My sister doesn't have anyone that she, like, idolizes. But then there's, like, the other end of the spectrum where there's Shim, who... He's obsessed with everybody. Absolutely obsessed with everyone. Like, if he starts to like someone, he just becomes obsessed. Yeah. I think he ruined, like, obsessing over people for me. Because he was so (laughs) annoying about Eminem in middle school. Like, the most annoying person. (laughs) Like, he ruined him for me. I hated Eminem in middle school because of Jordan. But you like Eminem. I love him. I love him now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Shim... Is obsessed. At, let's. Who can we think of that he's obsessed with? Eminem, uh, LeBron, LeBron, Dwayne Wade, Dwayne Wade, um, Ariana Grande for a J. while. Cole. He had Ariana and Selena Gomez for a yep. while. Yep. Uh, he's obsessed with J Cole. He's obsessed with um, Kobe. Yep. He's obsessed with The Rock. Um, is he obsessed with The Rock? He mm, likes. He the likes. Rock. He's the not rock. obsessed. Yeah. Uh, there's this guy named LC who's this fitness <laughs> yeah. guy that he's obsessed with. Yep. Just anybody he puts on his on his story, uh, that's who he's obsessed with. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Oh well, mine is uh, in middle school it was Kevin Garnett and Dennis Rodman. Yeah. Those, those are, are my two. Couple coats. And Will Smith, I guess. But Will Smith, like, kind of similar to Kyle's. I never wanted to like be an actor, so mm-hmm. it wasn't like in that sense. I just thought he was cool. But Kevin Garnett and probably Kevin Garnett. I've watched like every interview, every clip of him. I just I loved him and his sweat. Okay. Um, That's okay. Cool. What keeps you up at night? Um, not being tired enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh keep, keeps me up at night. Mentally, is there ever a thing? Mm. that even if you're tired if this if you're thinking about this you just you're you're fucked because you're not going to go to sleep uh probably just like this just like wanting thinking about the podcast yeah probably just like wanting this to succeed and like what it could be like that keeps me up like in in like a good way um but i'm pretty content with like the like how we're doing things right now so like i'm pretty it's not something that i'm I don't have a lot of regrets right now. Yeah, I would say. Looking so back, so you haven't had any trouble sleeping recently? No, I've been I've been chilling. The only thing that like makes me not sleep well is like if I'm just not tired. Like if I didn't work out earlier and I'm just like kind of have some energy. Yeah, I don't sleep as well if I don't work out that yeah, day. Same. I'm gonna sleep sucks. super well. I actually slept super well last night. Yeah. <laughs> um, what keeps me up at night? Um, like girl stuff. If I'm if I'm ever having like relationship yeah. issues, been there. Or also just, yeah, anything dreams, like, goal-related. Um, particularly if it gets past a certain hour of the night, then that's when the thoughts kick in. Like, like what time? Like, if I go to sleep before midnight, I'm chilling. Same. But if I go to sleep at any time after midnight, that's when I get these deep, really philosophical thoughts about, like, the nature of my purpose and my being and, like... Yeah, I don't... I don't do that. You know, you know what kept me up the other night is uh, trying to make a fantasy football trade with somebody. We were like, we were, yeah, we were going back and forth for like an hour or so. God damn we it. finally came to an agreement. Was your trade happy, worth I'm it? I'm happy with my trade. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. We got three more questions here, Kyle. All right. Let's get it. Which are better, Legos or Lincoln Logs? Ooh, play with both, but definitely Legos. You That's can, just not even a yeah, question. Yeah, you can do a lot more with Legos. Yeah. Lincoln Logs, you're just going to build a little tower. I never really even built anything other than just a tower that just goes straight up. You can't That's build it. much else. No, you can. I looked up photos, dude. People, People are like good with Lincoln, Lincoln Log hearts. Yeah. You Lincoln Logs are castles. Yeah, but they're way easier to fall over. That's true. Legos are sturdy. And I like with, with Legos that you can mix and match, and you can really create your own adventure with create, Legos. Exactly. You can create your own world. Yeah. Um. All right. I like this one. Have you ever cried out of joy? Um... I don't know that I have. Cried out of joy. I would cry if the Mariners won the World Series. Yeah. 
Um, but you haven't experienced that anything like that yet. I'm trying to think. I don't. I couldn't think of a time when I had, but I I wrote. I would like to like. I want to experience that. Yeah. Being so happy that I cry. I I just I'm not like a. I don't want to say like I'm not an emotional person, but like I don't cry like i don't cry about i'll cry about things that if i'm sad and i don't cry about joy like i've never cried for being happy that i can think of yeah like for my body just doesn't work that way i don't know like if i'm happy like i'm just happy yeah and i think most people like i i don't think with most people you they don't cry out of joy for any for like all the time yeah like the only pe- only time you cry out of joy is if it's something really fucking special yeah like I'm nothing not- special in my life right now if I, well, no, I was trying to think like if I got married, would I cry out of joy? But I would be like, that'd be I'm fucking married. weird because why would, I don't want to be crying at my wedding. Yeah. But it's like, <laughs> you could be the thing where like your bride walks down the aisle and you're like, oh my God. Ugh. No, you know? but like, that would just be like kind of weird. I feel like. Yeah. Like no one wants to see a guy it. crying at his wedding. Like stop being a pussy cry. bitch. In my, in my, uh, I'll cry at your wedding wearing my uh, football pants. <laughs> I'm actually going to wear football pants at your wedding. I'd, I know. I, I okay, hope so. Okay, good. Um, I have told my parents though, that if the podcast can ever become my full-time job, that would be the best day of my life. And I think that I might cry if that ever happens. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is probably one thing. If I could like... I don't know if it would happen, but I almost hope I do cry out of joy. Yeah, that, that would happens. be a bit. That would that would be the best day of my life for sure. Like if I could just quit a job, be like, hang up the phone, and be like, oh my god, it's official. Yep, just walking out and just like, peace, peace out, bitches, peace to the world. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Last question here. <laughs> okay, so you don't you don't have to say their name, um, but. Who is the worst person you know personally? Oh, I already know who it is. <laughs> but has like you have to actually know them in person. Yes, I know who it is. Okay, can you describe them maybe? I don't want to like or give, give this a, person away, but they are just just can you give enough to where the fans might get an idea of like who this person someone is? Someone that just is the most awful person inside and out and <laughs> just, just where do you know them from? Can you say that? Uh, like how do you know them? I don't really want to say because that that might give it away. Okay, I, you might already know who I'm like talking. <laughs> I about. don't yet. No, I, I can tell you after, okay. and you won't be shocked. It's just someone that I don't like them, and I just can't express how much I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I'm not someone that I I don't. Maybe maybe I am this person. You you think I hate a lot of people. You do hate a lot of people, dude. <laughs> no, but this is a different kind of... This is like I actually legitimately hate this person. Actually, no, I want to take it back. Donald Trump. No, but you don't know him personally. You have to know them okay, personally. Okay, personally. Um, this person likes Donald Trump. Um, Does I'm, this person... I'm trying to think of like things to say without like... Yeah. Do you feel like you... Is this a person you'll ever be able to like... F- quote unquote forgive and like get over this dislike for them and it's like, not like a forgiveness thing it's just like they're just a shitty person yeah but do you ever think you could get to a point where it's like you know what as much as i didn't like you at one point i'm okay with you now if they like stop trying so hard to like just if they stop trying to i don't be know this I, I just don't person. it's just someone that like i don't really care to associate with and it's like yeah would you say it to their face would you like do they know or would you tell them like i fucking hate you uh i'm not really one to say that i would love to say that to someone's face i I, yeah i would say to if someone to someone that like deserved it like did something to me like this person hasn't really done anything personally to me you just don't like being around i just i just don't like this person (laughs) yeah uh dude actually there was one time in high school um like there (laughs) this is like kind of mean but there was this kid in high school that like always just like bugged me and he always thought he was friends with me but he was also it's different if someone thinks they're friends with you and they're like a nice person yeah but this kid was actually an asshole that's kind of what i'm going for it's like yeah so there was this kid that like thought he asshole. was cool he thought he was everyone's friend he thought i liked him and i was always especially in my phase when i was like angry john all the time mm-hmm. i would just say it to his face anytime he'd come up to me <laughs> i'd literally tell him i don't fucking like you 
Like, like, I'd ah, say it. Good one, yeah, dude. and he'd be like, ah, dude, yo, that's like, funny. I actually What's What's don't up, like you. And I'm like, dude, I don't want to talk to you. Get it out of my face. Mm-hmm. Like, I would say this to him <laughs> at school. Damn, bro. That's cold. But, I mean, I, he kind of deserved it. No, yeah. I, I We might be. No, no. <laughs> I don't know if we're talking about the same person, but uh, right. I think the worst person I. So I, I don't want to always feel this way about this person. I want to get to a point where I can forgive this person and like, okay, be like, you know what, I don't care anymore. Okay, but I'm not there yet. Okay, uh, I still think my high school basketball coach, okay, is the worst human I've met. Really? Okay. And it's funny because some people like the guy a lot. I'm I'm impartial and, to him, and I could not think of a person that I would. Like, I would rather spend time with anyone else on the planet that I know. But do you think it's, like, something that you don't like him because of coaching or, like, as a person you think he's No, bad? like, I feel like it transcended as a coach. It transcended coaching and it was, like, as a human. Mm. Like, just from what – I don't know. If it's a coach, obviously, you don't see them, like, at home and, like, you don't see the other sides of them. Yeah. So it's hard to say. But, yeah, this guy, I would not want to associate with him. Okay. Um. But yeah, do you, this guy that you don't like, do you think right. if you saw them at like a grocery store or yeah. you ran into them, would you like, I would probably say hi to avoid them. them. No, I, I would like avoid them. Like I wouldn't want to say hi to them, but like if they said hi to me, I would say hi to them. Oh, so you'd pretend like you'd be like, like, Hey, what's up? But yeah, I wouldn't really want to, <laughs> I would kind of slowly start backing away and run. trying to get out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would love if there was a person that I hated so much to where like they saw me and they just knew. Wow, that was that they're, was bad. Yeah. No, but if they're like, "Oh, hey, what's up, John?" and if I just turn to them and say, "Get the fuck away from me," <laughs> I would love to say that to someone. Oh yeah. my god! And I just, just turn around and walk, or they say, "Hey, what's up, John?" and I look at them, and, they and just I just know. turn away and I walk away. I don't say a single goddamn thing to them. That would feel good. Someone would have to do a lot to me for, <laughs> it, yeah. Like if they're just a bad person. I probably wouldn't do that to them, but if they were just if they did something specifically to me, then I would then I would be there. Yeah. I just have a hard time doing that to people. Yeah, I think I have like a bad trait in the sense like I would part of me like feeds off of like this like evil energy of like knowing that I don't even know what it is, just like the thrill of like hate. Really? Excites me kind of. Mm. Like if someone chains and whips hates me i'll almost want to engage with them more and if i hate someone i want them to know that i hate them like there's all these things they might like okay hear me out so one i have red receipts on Uh. and part of that is because i've said before i want someone to know that i don't like you Okay. Now, sometimes, a lot of times, I accidentally leave people on red, and then I feel bad. Like, my friend John L... leaves me on red all the time. <laughs> my friend L, I was texting her, like, two weeks ago, and <laughs> she sent me this, like, important, like, kind of, like, sad text that, like, I should have responded to. Yeah. And I just left her on red for two weeks, and I responded, like, LOL, my bad. <sighs> Didn't mean to do that. But then there's You're other... toxic. Pe- there's other people that like I want them to know that I don't like you. I fucking hate you. Do you want to like all shout? My heart. You want to shout anybody out that you don't like? Oh, I mean, there's plenty of people. Yeah, I don't want to shout idea. them out. I don't even yeah. want to give them the, the the spotlight. That's true. That's you know, true. We're big time now. <laughs> we are. We are so big time <laughs> that you don't deserve our spotlight. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I just love that energy. I love. I get a thrill off of the potential, like. With the podcast, whenever we get a comment of like, or like if we say something potentially bad mm-hmm. that could like cancel us or like if we offend someone or if That's we... That's thrilling for you. I love it. Or if we get comments on our ads and they're like, yo, get this out of my timeline. This is so fucking annoying. I love it. I like, I, that is the Well, don't tell people to do that because people are going to try and do that. Well, no, I don't mean like, I don't mean that I want hate, but it's more of like, Oh, you fucking hate it? Let's go. This is awesome. And then I'll respond. I'll give you some sassy remark. And All I right. can't really do that on like the... Po- like It's not professional. Right. But like on my personal account, I would do that. Mm-hmm. I just... I love it. Okay. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> again, if you guys don't like any, like what we're doing here, 
feel free to not watch us. <laughs> like, I just want to throw that out there. Yeah. Just going to throw it out there. Um, okay, cool. Uh, moving on to the segments here. Today we got, what do we got today? Uh, A&F. A&F and concentration. My A this week is a man from Nebraska who went in front of the city council at like a public like yeah, for court all, hearing. Yeah, all 10 people in his town probably. Yeah, and this uh, court hearing was about how he wanted to change uh, boneless wings, the, the name boneless wings, to just chicken tenders. He's so right. And he was explain. He gave a whole presentation on boneless wings are quite literally chicken tenders. He is extremely right. And, he and was- <laughs> that man, that man, he deserves a, uh, an award. And he's very right. And I hope that they pass that law because yeah. don't call them boneless wings. They're not wings. Yeah, they're just chicken. They're, they're literally just chicken, chicken tenders. Just yeah. And he was saying like, you know, if we wanted to differentiate them from chicken tenders, we could call them like buffalo chicken bites. Or like, all right, like if they have a certain flavor of wing. Yeah, chicken bites. There's chicken strips, chicken tenders. I don't know. Yeah, and he so he gave a whole presentation, and he was very professional. He had a suit and tie. He had a big beard. Looked like a really fun guy. I agree with that man. And I was like, this guy drinks a lot of beer, and I like him. And eats a lot of wings. Yeah, he's probably not a boneless wing guy. No, he's, I I think he is. That he's man advocating. likes the bone. No, he's that guy ad- likes the bone. He's like, don't even call it a boneless wing. He's not <laughs> even in the same category. You, if you're, a, oh. you're eating boneless wings, first of all, you're a pussy. <laughs> no, whoa, yes, you shut are. the fuck up. Yes, you are. There's more meat. It's better. Wings are better. No, that no, no, they're not, dude. No, you're. They are you're so pussy, much pussy worse. Bitch. My A this week. I hate to say it now that I just we just had this disagreement, but my A this week is is John. Oh, um, thank you. If you guys haven't seen on the Pims channel, John posted his um his phase audition, <laughs> audition, <laughs> whatever what, phase five. I don't, yeah, it's, it's not, like it's a sub- it's a submission. Submission. That's a different word. That's the word I was looking for. Um, yeah, I think I, I truly think that is the best video I've ever seen you made. Wow, thank I, you. I am very proud of you. Thank um, you. I just feel like if that video can gain some sort of traction, I think you you did such a good job on it that I think if they if they can see it, then I think you will progress. That's just in my opinion. Like Thank that it, that video can gain traction. It just needs to be seen. Yeah. No, I I I agree with the f- fact that I think that's the. I think it's definitely my favorite video I've ever made. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's like my. It, it could be my best. It's definitely up there with my best videos I've made, but. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen it, uh, it's the video we posted on last Wednesday when you guys are watching Mm -hmm. this. And it took me so long to make that. that What's funny, a little backstory to that video real quick. Um, So the first 60 seconds is like the main part because that's the part that everyone sees on social media. Mm -hmm. So the whole goal is to make this first 60 seconds as best you can and concise and basically explain who you are and what you do. I recorded the interview portion of that for 90 minutes. The interview portion. Like when I'm talking to the camera, like the voiceover. 90, why'd you take 90 minutes? Because I each it, to get it was it right? so hard. It was like create, it took everything I had creatively <sighs> to like, because trying to just hype yourself up for like, yeah, it's hard and talk about, oh, this is what I do. I'm so awesome. This is why I'm great. It's yeah. like, it feels weird. Right. And so it took me 90 minutes to record like a 60 second thing. It's because you're so humble, man. I, I guess. Except not really. You think you're not humble? Well, I don't think I'm like as humble as some people. Like I, you're not the humble. I can say that I'm like you're more good humble at than a lot. Certain things. Yeah, but that's not being. Well, maybe it isn't. I feel like when I think of someone who's humble, they're like, oh, you know, oh, you it, know. it wasn't me. It was my teammates. Yeah, but it's like, like that's if LeBron like says that, he, LeBron's not humble though. Is he not? No, <laughs> he is not. Hum- you think LeBron's humble? I don't know. Like when he's, they interview him, does he does he take credit for the su- success of the team? Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's because it's true. <laughs> yeah. Like he said things where it's like, this play was what cemented me as the greatest player of all time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like he, he like he says stuff like that, but then yeah, he's he like hypes up his teammates, which is like good. If any if anyone was just like, yeah, it's all me, blah 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 blah, like you're a dick. Yeah. But even though even if it's true, I wonder. Yeah, but do you think there's anyone that was like? Is there ever someone who's like LeBron's level of skill mm-hmm. in in anything, not even just sports, but like someone who's on LeBron's level of skill? I guess my question is: is it, is it possible to be that good and be more humble than LeBron is? 
Like, are there people who mm. will say like, oh, it wasn't me. It was the team or like, cool. I didn't do this success. Like other people made me what I am. Like, I, is, I don't think anyone's like that. Well, it's hard because there's not a lot of people on his level. I think the only That's people true. ever on his level are Michael Jordan and Kobe, and neither of them were very humble. But even other things like... But, like, you can't be humble when you're that good. Golf. Like, who is the best golfer ever? Tiger. And it's Tiger? I don't, you... I don't know much about Tiger. He cheated <laughs> on his wife. That's He's like a sex addict, too. But, I mean, I don't know. Like, is anyone... I don't know of anyone that's, like, super, super humble like that. Like you gotta have a little know. bit of yeah no I think you got, you gotta have an edge to you yeah like yeah I don't I don't know I just think when you're that good you kind of can't be humble because it's like I'm just the best and they know it yeah. yeah that's that's I respect that almost more yeah um but yeah so this video is really cool I think you guys should check it out if you haven't watched it yet it was it was funny I was talking to my parents and I was like the video is only ten minutes and in terms of the the number of hours it took me to create it it wasn't anywhere near the longest video i've made like i've i've did i did like a 35 minute video with shim for the 30 days of mm -hmm. hell and and those took me weeks to make but this one was the most like draining video i've ever had to make and it, it's well, just also like had a deadline too kinda. that's true but it, it was just like a weird different type of like tired that i haven't experienced before where it was like it wasn't hard to make but it was just like exhausting creatively exhausting right um also i we got a, we've gotten some comments recently i saw two of them in the last week people think i look tired and someone was like yo are you good john like i'm good guys he's just kind of drained i am just i'm just tired but no i'm good i i if i ever seem low energy i hope i hope i don't but no i'm good i'm happy okay uh cool my F this week, this is actually like very serious. Uh, whoever is in charge of Netflix's um, approval process for their Netflix films. And so, okay. okay. There's this have? thing that came out called Cuties. Oh my Dude, God. Dude, have you yeah. heard about it? Yes. It is yes. fucked. Yes. It is absolutely fucked. It is a, it's a movie called Cuties. Or like a documentary. I I don't know. I haven't watched it. Don't watch it. I've I've I'm just seen multiple it. reviews on how this is the worst thing Netflix has ever put out. It's a documentary or movie thing called Cuties, and it is basically marketed as this documentary to like shed light on how bad sexualizing children is, mm -hmm. and how media sexualizes children, and how it's so terrible, and all this stuff. But apparently this vid this documentary just does the complete opposite of that. And so in their attempt to show like, oh, media sexualizes 10 year olds, They're what they do is they get a bunch of 10 year olds and they like have them shake their ass and like put them in like underwear and like wet tank tops and it's disgusting and dude. like have oh them God. and they literally uh, I haven't watched it, but apparently like the camera goes like right up to these people's like these little kids like ass and like wet like oh shirts and it, this whole documentary just does the complete opposite of their goal and what's even crazier is it's rated like 90 percent on rotten tomatoes oh a lot of creepy which, people yeah, yeah I know. It, it's like appealing to like pedophiles and like people there's there's some people defending it and i honestly think the people defending it are pedophiles probably i don't think there's any way to watch this film like there's some movie reviewers on YouTube that I really respect. I've watched them for a long time and like they're, they're knowledgeable, respected, like movie people. They, mm -hmm. and all these guys are like, had to turn it off. Cause it like was so gross. Yeah. 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 Imagine being like a director or like pitching this idea to Netflix. Like, yo, we're going to make this movie about sexualizing children. And instead of hiring actors, who are 18 and maybe to make them look like 15, yeah. we're just going to hire actual 11 year olds. Cause all the kids are actually 11 years old. I know it, it makes me, it's like really sad. Like it, that makes me really sad. Yeah. Who makes that? It's like, that's just so wrong in so many ways. And if like, you want to talk about someone that I would say, I openly hate you, <laughs> that guy that made that or, or woman, I don't know. Or anyone that's going to try to defend that. I think that's so disgusting. Bro, there's... Oh, my God. There's a clip I saw of a guy 
you already can tell by looking at him, this guy likes movies like this. Mm -hmm. And he's doing like a movie review on YouTube, on his YouTube channel. And there's a clip that was going around and he was saying, you know, like he was defending and he was like, you know, say what you want, but like the movie was made to make you think they're kind of hot. <laughs> Oh and he was God. so serious. He's like, and he literally says, he's like, you know, don't get mad at me for it. Get mad at the people who made it. They're making you think that they're hot. And he was like trying to defend. He's they're like 10. I'm like, dude, they're fucking 10. Oh my God. That's disgusting. Yeah. Those poor girls that are in that movie. Like, I don't know. I hope they don't. And the families uh, like, yeah. Why would, why you... would you let your kid be in that? Well, it's hard. I, like, I bet the parents didn't they think didn't realize. that. Yeah. Like they thought it's supposed to defend or I don't know. That's so wrong. Just dude. don't watch it. it I can't so believe wrong. it's on Netflix. Whoever approves the shit needs to get fired because that one is fucked. Yeah, that really misses the mark. Um, but yeah. God damn. Okay. Kyle, who well, failed this week? My F. Um, this is a sports one, guys. It's Paul George and the Clippers. Um, playoff P didn't show up, and I just I love how NBA Twitter just absolutely goes after people. Like NBA Twitter is my favorite area on Twitter. Because they just, they're, they're the, ruthless, and there's so many amazing memes. Like you think you like, oh, they've talked about Paul George too much. No, there are still great memes coming out today. Yeah, well, what I love about NBA Twitter, in particular, is that it seems like even the famous people engage with the <laughs> yeah. The hate. NBA players are like <laughs> hating. Like CJ and Dame were just going after the Clippers, and it was hilarious. Yeah, and like there's not this this level of like professionalism that there is in other. Sp because yeah. you see, like, Stephen A. Smith is tearing people apart. And, like, like, you like respected see, like, people. You wouldn't see, like, Tom Brady, like, tweeting about, you know, no. NFL players. <laughs> no. And, like, LeBron's not really tweeting about them. But there are some high-level NBA players that are shitting on them. And, and I feel like the mob mentality of NBA social media mm -hmm. is way more powerful than the mob mentality of any other sport. Yeah. I just, I think, like, for Paul George... To, to label yourself playoff P and play that Did bad. Did he the, label himself yes, that? Yes, he's like, Yo, you're, I'm playoff P. Like, you give yourself that nickname, and then you're that bad in the playoffs. And he was talking shit about to, like, Damon, like, oh, you're going to go to Cancun, blah, 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 blah. And, like, they, they also spent five first-round picks to get Paul George. That's actually crazy to me. <laughs> yeah, the Thunder robbed him. Dude, five first-round oh picks? For that... Shitty that's guy. gonna be that'll pay off a, yes a lot the thunder are gonna be very good for a long time five picks yeah how high are the first round picks do you know uh i don't like, know are they in, like the top it's 10? like different teams first round picks okay. i mean like you can't really know until yeah the future but but even like i feel like regardless if it's like late first round or middle first round they're mm -hmm. all gonna be pretty damn good like players. chances are they can get one or two like pretty good players and they already have like a good foundation because they also traded uh shea gilgis alexander who's like probably going to be a star in a few years they traded him to the thunder to the thunder yeah oh. so it's like yeah all that for playoff p i don't know yeah and i was telling kyle before we were recording like paul george is a good player mm -hmm. but it's just when you are on this level of people expect you to be a superstar and he did it to himself too talking yeah. so much shit and just didn't back it up yeah, like when dude. someone could talk shit and back it up like that's they're, yeah it, they're different if he didn't talk shit at all if he just minded his business and played basketball wouldn't have a problem he would people would have shit on him a little bit mm -hmm. but it wouldn't it would be like a a tenth of what it is now exactly um cool well concentration let's do it we don't have a category but we we'll can... just we'll think of one on the spot concentration, concentration. 64 <laughs> no repeats or hesitations. hesitations i'll go first i'll go second <laughs> category is <laughs> what is it uh Types or genres of pizza, cheese, pepperoni, everything or combo, meat lovers, a uh, deep dish, Hawaiian, thin crust, uh, pan pizza, Neapolitan, oven pizza. <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't count. No, it doesn't count. All right. Uh, um, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, vegetarian. Uh, 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 the, the ones with the feta, the, no, that's not it. Vegan. I lost. No, actually, you lost because no. you paused. Oven pizza, the type. <laughs> oven baked pizza. I meant to say pan pizza. But Red Baron. Oh, we should do frozen pizzas. Mm. All right. Red Baron. Uh, uh, DiGiorno. California Pizza Kitchen. Uh, 
I don't fucking know. Wow, I'm the goat, dude. Well, I didn't. I'm I didn't so agree to this category. <laughs> you don't. Have, you don't have to agree. Okay, let's do a new category. Um, animals. Dog. Cat. Peacock. Wolf. Chihuahua. Uh, that's a dog. Uh, kangaroo. <laughs> uh, zebra. Uh, whale. Horse. Narwhal. Cow. Leopard. Um, humu humu upu uku <laughs> naku, napua. <laughs> Panther. Uh, uh, cougar. Crow. Mountain lion. Kaka, uh, owl. Tiger. Uh, rooster. Pigeon. Chicken. Pig. Uh, elk. Goat. Uh, what? Hippo. Sheep. Rhino. <laughs> Elephant. Uh, <laughs> quail. Uh, turkey. Hawk. Raven. Uh, uh anteater. Falcon. Uh, <laughs> my mammal. Mammoth. Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> mammal. Keep going. Uh, uh, ka- uh ko- koala. Whale. Uh, I already said whale. Damn it. Wallaby. Dolphin. Wallaroo. <laughs> uh, 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 ape. Human being. Um, uh, can, uh, I ape keep saying not an can- animal. <laughs> ape an is ape's a like a, <laughs> all right, all right. whatever. So who won? I'll take the win. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> there you guys have it. Uh, thank you all so much for listening to this episode of Peak to Middle School. There's new episodes every single Monday and Thursday. If you guys are new around here, you should leave a review on the Apple Podcast app. How do they do that, Kyle? You can go if you have an iPhone. You can go into the Purple Podcast app. You can search Peak to Middle School. If you listen there, uh, that'd be another option too. Or even if you don't listen, or if there, you don't, you can still go there. And uh, and then you scroll down. There's a little five star review. Leave a review. That would be very helpful to us. Um, yeah. Just yep. if, you, if you guys are looking for a way to help us out, that would, that really helps. Yeah. Uh, we have a Patreon at patreon.com slash Pim's podcast. If you guys want some extra content every single month, we got deleted scenes videos. We got some behind the scenes vlogs on how we make the podcast, what we do, our day to day lives, the content we got. You get a personalized video shout out. You get potentially pictures of Kyle's feet hey, if you want to pay for that. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, but yeah, Kyle, where can I follow you? Instagram at Kyle Stafford 36. Follow the podcast at Pim's Podcast. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Yep. Yeah. You guys can follow me at Hey Narwhal on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.